Malaysia is a Southeast Asian country with a rich history and culture. It is home to some of the world's most beautiful beaches, lush rainforests, and vibrant cities. In this video, we will explore some interesting and little-known facts about Malaysia that you may not have heard before. From its unique cuisine to its diverse population, there are many fascinating aspects of Malaysian life that make it an exciting place to visit or live in. Join us as we take a look at some of the most interesting facts about Malaysia. In Malaysia, wearing yellow is considered a sign of protest and is therefore banned. This ban was put in place to prevent people from expressing their political views in public. The ban applies to all forms of clothing, including shirts, pants, skirts, and even accessories such as hats and scarves. It also applies to any form of public gathering or demonstration that involves wearing yellow clothing. Violators of this law can face fines or even imprisonment. As a result, many Malaysians have chosen to express their political views through other means such as social media or peaceful protests instead. Pregnant Malay women are advised to avoid certain activities that may cause harm to their unborn child. According to traditional beliefs, tying or killing anything while pregnant can lead to the birth of a baby with deformities or birthmarks. This is why pregnant Malay women are discouraged from engaging in such activities during their pregnancy. It is believed that these activities can disrupt the natural flow of energy and cause negative effects on the unborn child. It is important for pregnant Malay women to be aware of this traditional belief to ensure a healthy pregnancy and delivery. In Malaysia, it is not uncommon to find buildings with a floor labeled 3A instead of the fourth floor. This is due to the fact that many Malaysians believe in superstitions and avoid using the number 4 as it is considered unlucky. This is because the pronunciation of the word 4 sounds similar to the word for death in Chinese. As a result, many buildings in Malaysia have skipped the fourth floor and replaced it with 3A instead. This practice has been around for centuries and continues to be observed today. The Patronus Towers of Kuala Lumpur, standing 1,483 feet high with 88 stories, was the tallest building in the world until 2004. It is still one of the most iconic structures and a symbol of Malaysia's economic success. The towers are connected by a sky bridge on the 41st and 42nd floors, which is open to visitors. The towers also feature an observation deck on the 86th floor that offers stunning views of Kuala Lumpur and its surroundings. The Patronus Towers are a popular tourist attraction and have become an important part of Malaysia's cultural identity. The Malaysian flag is a symbol of national pride and unity, and its design was the result of a contest held when the Federation of Malaya replaced the Malayan Union in 1948. The winning design was created by Mohamed Hamza, an architect from Johor Bahru. His design featured a blue canton with a crescent and 14-point star, representing the 13 states and federal territories that make up Malaysia. The red background symbolizes courage while the yellow stands for royalty. Malaysia is a country with an impressive network of highways, boasting 40,934 miles of roads in total. This is even greater than the circumference of the Earth, which is 24,902 miles. The Malaysian highway system has been developed over many years and provides a convenient way for people to travel around the country. It also serves as an important economic artery for businesses and industries in Malaysia. With its extensive network of highways, Malaysia has become one of the most connected countries in Southeast Asia. Caning is a form of corporal punishment which is legally allowed in Malaysia. It involves the use of a rotten cane to inflict physical pain on an offender as a form of punishment. The maximum number of strokes which can be ordered by the court is 24, and women and boys under the age of 10 and men over 50 are exempt from this punishment. Caning has been used in Malaysia for centuries, but it has become increasingly controversial in recent years due to its perceived brutality and lack of effectiveness as a deterrent. In 1997, the Malaysian state of Kelantan made a unique decision to prevent people from cuddling and kissing in movie cinemas. The state ordered that lights would no longer be switched off during screenings, so that people could be monitored more easily. This was seen as a way to maintain public decency and morality in the region. The order was met with mixed reactions from the public. 
with some seeing it as an infringement on their privacy while others welcomed it as a way to ensure that people in public behave appropriately. Malaysia is one of the world's leading producers of natural rubber, with an estimated production of 1.2 million metric tons in 2020. This makes it the third largest producer in the world, behind Thailand and Indonesia. Malaysia is also the world's largest supplier of rubber gloves, accounting for more than half of global exports. The country has a long history of rubber production and has been a major player in the industry since the early 20th century. The Malaysian government has invested heavily in research and development to ensure its rubber products remain competitive. As such, Malaysia continues to be an important source for high-quality natural rubber and rubber gloves around the world. Pomelo is an indigenous fruit from Malaysia that is known for its abundance and versatility. It is one of the most popular citrus fruits in the world, with a weight ranging from 2 to 7 pounds. The fruit has a thick rind and juicy flesh that can be used in various dishes, drinks, and desserts. It is also known for its health benefits such as being rich in vitamin C, antioxidants, and dietary fiber. Pomelo can be eaten raw or cooked to bring out its unique flavor and texture. Traveling between East and Peninsular Malaysia can be a complicated process for Malaysians due to the different immigration laws, in Sabah and Sarawak. As a result, even Malaysians need to have a valid passport when traveling between these two regions. This is because the immigration laws in Sabah and Sarawak are different from those of the rest of Malaysia, which means that travelers must comply with the specific requirements of each region. Furthermore, it is important to note that some countries may require visas for entry into either Sabah or Sarawak, so it is important to check with your destination before traveling. Chinese Malays are known for their unique tradition of visiting graveyards in the dead of night, bearing offerings for the dead. This practice is believed to be a way to honor and remember their ancestors, as well as to seek guidance and luck from them. It is also believed that by offering food and other items to the deceased, they will be blessed with good fortune to include the hope of receiving lucky lottery numbers. This tradition has been passed down through generations and is still practiced today by many Chinese Malaysians. The Iban community of the Sarawak province in Malaysia has a unique tradition when it comes to naming newborn babies. They refer to a baby as a ulet, which means a worm, until the baby is named. This tradition is believed to be an ancient practice that has been passed down through generations. It is believed that this practice was meant to protect the baby from evil spirits and bad luck. In Malay culture, the wedding ring is a symbol of love and commitment between two people. It is traditionally worn on the fourth finger of the right hand, and this ring is placed on this finger by a senior female relative of the bride or groom. This tradition has been passed down through generations and is still practiced today. The placement of the wedding ring on this finger is believed to bring good luck to the couple and their marriage. It also serves as a reminder that they are now bound together in marriage for life. Nasi lemak is the national dish of Malaysia, a fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk and served wrapped in a banana leaf. This traditional Malaysian dish has been enjoyed by locals for centuries and is now gaining popularity around the world. It is a simple yet flavorful dish that can be enjoyed as part of breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The combination of ingredients used to make nasi lemak gives it its unique flavor and aroma, making it one of the most popular dishes in Malaysia.